Hello, my name's Nia Anderson and this is where I get to talk about the things that I love for your judgment. So let's begin. I am back guys. I'm finally back. This is my first video that has not been an update video or a react video disclaimer. Um, unfortunately, my plans for recording have been kind of thrown out the window a little bit. I had to quickly finish my react video disclaimer and get that up yesterday. So you guys should take a look at that to see how I'm going to edit this video. This video is my first react video. This is not going to be a react channel. If you guys want to know what this channel will be about, you guys should watch my 2020 reboot video that has been up since Sunday. This video will be found in my reaction playlist where you can also find my disclaimer video. Do not expect to see the full mu music video in this video, um, but it will be linked below in the description for you guys to check out that music video if you want to. Today we will be going over Cherry Bullet's hands up comeback this is their second comeback their first debut song was q a their first comeback was really really and now we have hands up i am not necessarily a cherry bullet stand but i do follow them just because i really love q a really really i wasn't the biggest fan of i actually preferred ping pong over uh really really um but we will see what hands up is all about let's get started cherry bullet uh dev i guess that's development um which is quite interesting i get um they work in kind of like an office building there's a shot um of the video game on the computer so you actually see the storefront that they had dance in front of later on in the corner which is very interesting they have the q a logo from their debut and it says debut date 2019 -121. so they kind of have a throwback q a what is this what is happening with this microphone right here like why is it clipped it's so far out um i guess you know she has to make an announcement or whatnot but typically i would just find that like on a table like my mic is actually over here like it's on a table not clipped to me like pointing out they're testing this video game um one of the members she puts the glasses on and you say test mode across the the front you see the storefront itself <laughs> that run i it's that was a good run right there because it's like okay they're going right back into the chorus but then you hear that like slide it's so beautiful like even though it's like at this point i'm pretty sure it's auto-tune even though it's auto-tune it's a nice slide they're using it really well they are actually developing the video game this time which is kind of very interesting especially because there's a change in their concept the uh their debut q a and really really were both very much them either in a video game or playing the video game but still kind of like being in it um kind of like um a very developed uh ar game now they are developing the video game um which i actually i quite like that you know they're developing the game now they're maturing a little bit so instead of just playing the game as you know uh so you're typically like small like not small but like younger uh kids would do they are now developing it they have graduated they're like okay we really like video games now let's make them so like in this music video they kind of have like three different looks they have the development team in the black and kind of like beige coloring um and then they have what i feel is like the actual like video game characters i guess in the black and orange or is that like orangish red color and then i guess they also have like kind of their consumers which is them kind of more into the more feminine girly um looks with the jeans um in the store um at the very least that's like what i'm understanding from this music video um it's done really well so i like the song i like this is the song i was looking for with 
uh, their first comeback. It's dancey, it's upbeat. The song actually starts with the chorus, which um, they actually had a bit of the chorus in their teaser, which is actually quite interesting, like the words and everything. It wasn't just the instrumental, which you normally hear in teasers. They do have quite a bit of like production going on. Um, whether it's actual auto-tune or it's kind of just like an effect, I'm not exactly sure. I find it kind of tasteful. It kind of goes with the atmosphere. They have changed their concept for both Q&A and really, really, they were really going for kind of like a bubblegum uh, pop concept, very bright um, and girly. This time they've kind of gone a little bit darker in their comeback. Um, they're going more dance EDM um, but it's still a bop it's still very much cherry bullet it doesn't seem like something that they can't necessarily pull off needless to say I like this comeback I cannot wait for their stages I cannot wait to see the entire dance in its entirety it starts off quite strong with the chorus like I said I will probably <laughs> uh, be listening to this in the car and I'm just like hands up yes the only thing I am sad about is that they do not have all 10 members they are down to seven um, a couple of months ago there was an article released about you know where did some of their members go um, I can't remember off the top of my head right now exactly what happened I think um, FNC just said either they left the group or they were kind of like on a hiatus um, they didn't necessarily say why I probably will continue following Cherry Bullet just because I like their songs I am glad that they have came out with this new concept and um, that they're rolling with it and it suits them very well um we'll see a bit more in their stages coming up soon but thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video leave a thumbs up and leave a comment down below about what you think about this comeback like i said i will have the link below to their official music video that way you guys can give them your views for that um but let's have a conversation down below let's talk about this comeback let's talk about um three members missing from the group uh what are some who are your favorite members of this group if you have a bias who is it um i don't necessarily have a bias just yet um i'm still kind of getting to know them a little bit but if you already have one let me know who and why what are some of your favorite parts of this music video but that is all i have for today my name's nia anderson so i will see you later bye